everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number 12, the final war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called, I see the hay in there, but I'm not sure of anything else after it. And I'm scared to even try to pronounce it. All right, who did they ban? All right, Ghost, Nimrod, and Scorpion. All right. Let's uh, see what they got planned for us. Now, the Alliance is locked into Platinum 2. So whether we win or lose this, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Not a single... <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think that uh, they don't really care. Uh, so we've got <laughs> Joe Fix It. And then nobody else. All right. Um, we got the middle here. Got Sasquatch. Let's see, Null, uh, Kingpin, and Terax. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think. I don't see anybody that's really difficult you know like um i could bring in nick fury he can take him um sasquatch i'll see if they want me to bring someone in but i could nick fury can do this one as long as and i believe that Null does not get armor ups. I'll have to double check that. Um, but yeah. So Nick Fury could probably do that fight as well. And um, Kingpin. Pretty sure he doesn't get armor ups. So I don't need a shock immune there. But I could bring one anyway. Uh, let me see. Hulkling. Can do that, maybe. Hulkling, um, Nick Fury, and then somebody for one of these minis. Hulkling could probably do the Terax fight. I think he can do that fight. Um, Ah, uh, let me think. Uh, for this Terax. Yeah. Or Absorbing Man. But wait, Absorbing Man, I think... I'd have to check, but I think Absorbing Man does um, energy damage. So he would not be good for that node. So I will check that. Um, I couldn't bring Absorbing Man because mine is on defense anyway. So um, so I could bring in Hulkling to do these two fights. And as far as uh, Sasquatch, I could probably bring in my uh, Overseer just for, you know, Back up. Let me see who we got over here. Hmm. Annoying people. That's what we have. Um. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Overseer could do this. Um, I'm thinking could do this Sasquatch. Or. Hmm. Warlock. Yeah. I think I'll bring Warlock instead of... Um, yeah. Warlock might even be able to help out over here. Not that I want to use him on any of these that I see here. But you never know. I might be able to do the um that gore maybe, I don't know. 
But yeah, I think I will. I'll bring in uh, Warlock, Nick Fury, and uh, Hulkling. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Okay, we're going in with Warlock, Hulkling. <laughs> Hulkling, spreading his wings, just blocking everybody else out. Uh, and we got Nick Fury back there hiding behind his wings. I'll tell you. Uh, but anyway, uh, since this is the last war of the season, I wanted to go out with a bang. And we didn't have a lion's quest on. So I was able to use um, pretty much whoever I wanted to. So this first fight is going to be Nick Fury. But that's not the only fight Nick Fury is going to be doing. Uh, I was asked if uh, I was only bringing Nick Fury for this one fight. And then I got assigned, um, I think, one other fight with Nick Fury. Then I got assigned another couple of fights. I'm trying to think. Yeah, all in all, I think I was assigned about three different fights. Two on Boss Island, one in the middle. Um, if I remember correctly. All right. So, as you can see, Nick is just chewing him up. I mean, that's just pretty straightforward, easy. Um, I love Nick. I don't even feel the need to heal right now because Nick is still on his first life. No need. And uh, if he does lose his uh, first life, just makes him even more dangerous. All right. You can see that we didn't have anybody on that mini or anything like that, um, which is why uh, I got assigned to some other fights since I was a, a little bit more free. Uh, so they cleared the middle and this shocker here. Uh, I wasn't too worried about him. Hulkling... I was like, should be able to take care of him. But I don't like this node. You guys who have been watching me know why I don't like this node. That root, no. So I usually avoid it, but, you know, I had the counter. So I was like, okay. Um, I said, I, I can fight Shocker. I, I'm not worried about Shocker. I just hate that node. But I'm going to fight him anyway. I'll fight whoever. Uh, you see, I put a invulnerability. I mean, it's the last war of the season, and I know we're going to have like a month and a half, so I'll be able to build up my um, stash again. All right, so you can see here, I got my pierce charges up. They do have bubble shield on this node, so I have to be careful about that. All right, see, I just baited those out. No problem. Still got the um, pierce on. Now, at this point, I would like to... Get that unblockable. And now, look at the damage. That is a lot of damage, y'all. And I'm just blocking. Move out of the way. And we're golden. Then I forgot again about that. And he punished me for it. Good old indestructible. Oh, and then I got rooted. I'm like, what? Get off me. And we're done. Oh, I hate that root. Hate it. But we got him down. Didn't go quite as smooth. It was going great until I forgot about his auto block. I always forget about that auto block. And I need to do that when I'm unblockable. That's what I need to do. Sasquatch was handled by an alliance mate. Um, Warlock could probably take that fight, but it's not a simple, easy fight. You got to really time things. Um, so that buffet doesn't take away his armor. So you have to make sure you have a dex and wait for that to get eaten up. And then you're good. Uh, but anyway, now I got to fight Null. I hate fighting Null too. But he was also one that I was going to bring Nick Fury in. Mainly because I have a buffer of his life. So even though I told my uh, officer that that was uh, the only fight I was really bringing Nick Fury in for, the um, uh, Joe Fix-It, I was thinking of maybe Nick Fury or Warlock for this fight. 
and I decided, well, Nick is, is pretty good, and I know how Null likes to do. So I was trying to hold my block, but he fired off his special one anyway. So now I got the corruption coming. And so I'm just like, all right, that's fine. I got it. And I'm like, all right, let's hear it. Boom. Didn't get quite. And so I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Bam. Because he was unblockable for that, just that little bit. And look at this. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. This is why I went in with Nick. So Nick, somebody else, that probably would have taken them out. It would have been over with. But Nick's still standing here. And now Nick is more dangerous. This is not even the fight that Nick was, um, that I was assigned to use Nick on. Okay. Um, but he's more dangerous now. All right. So now we got Kingpin. I remember fighting Kingpin with um, uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. It was fun. As long as Kingpin fired off his specials. But Spider-Man Stark Enhanced has a taunt. And so it made the fight pretty easy. Um, but here we go. Get those uh, Pierce and the Unblockable. He's firing off his special. Look at, look at his health. Just getting chunked down. Okay. Yep. There we go. More. I love the fact that those Pierce, I'm doing damage even as I'm hitting into their block, trying to give them power. I love that. So at this point, what I really want to do, if I can, is build up some more um, Pierce. Okay, I have enough uh, shapeshift charges or whatever. I just need him to back off and block. There we go. There we go. I'm unblockable. Bam. 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 Mm. Nasty. So, yeah. I was actually going to take Hulkling up over Hercules until Seven Stars came out and I saw what that first pool was. Yeah. Couldn't do that. Um, I knew Hercules wasn't going to be a seven star anytime soon, if ever. And so I was just like, yeah, let me just take Herc up. And Hulkling, maybe. If he's as a seven star, I want him. All right. So now we're fighting uh, Terax. He's on that high energy diet. And of course, I was asked, can, can Hulkling take a high energy diet? Yes. Yes, he can. Um, we've done it before. So that's how I knew. So, loving this. Notice how aggressive he is. I was just trying to get my pierces up. And he's just fighting like crazy. All right. He's got his special too. And I know that's what he wanted. So now I'm trying to get him to fire that off. There we go. Okay. And just back off a little bit. Yep, do the head bomb. Head bomb. Hip, hip, head bomb. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know why he does that, <laughs> but the rock feel expired, and now I was trying to get the pierces. Okay, there we go. Yeah, who? Mm. Ah, lovely, just nasty. So we're doing good for this last war of the season. Just, just chewing folk up. Love it. So now, uh, I did let my alliance mate know because he has to put uh, a pre-fight on. There you go. Neil, he just went down. You saw him. So I'm following him down. He went up to uh, Quicksilver. Um, I don't think he was doing anything on Quicksilver. I, I, don't, um, I knew I didn't need anything because I know how to fight uh, Quicksilver. Also, Nick Fury is in his second life. You know what that means, don't you? Quicksilver ain't got nothing. So we go in and now I know that he's going to put um, his um, White Magneto pre-fight on the next fight, which I'm also going to take. Uh, but this guy here, Nick Fury tears him up. And you'll notice I didn't even need to heal. All right, look at this. Evade failed. Isn't that lovely? Evade failed. Ooh -wee. Look at his health. Going down. Notice my health is going down pretty slowly. That's what a SIG 200 Nick Fury does. 
Look at this. Mm. Tick, tick, tick. And done. Lovely. And Nick didn't even get down to 30%. So while he doesn't need to be awakened and certainly doesn't need to be SIG 200, it does have its advantages. Especially if he's on defense. All right, so now I'm waiting. Waiting for Neil. There we go. He went up there uh, to put the white mags pre-fight. Now, I got a little confused here. So I know that's what he's doing, right? But I'm looking for the icon out here. So he's done, right? But I don't see any. And I remember seeing icons when other pre-fights went on. So that's why I'm looking. I'm like, did he put it on? So I'm looking over here. I'm like, oh, wait. That's not where it is. You know, I'm, I'm trying to find this. And I'm like, okay. I'm scrolling down. I'm like, did he? Okay, there's the globals. But there it is. That guidance boost all the way at the bottom. Okay. So when I looked at that the first time, I missed it. And so I was going to go and... Uh, give him a, a a message saying, "Did you did you put the uh, pre fight on?" Okay, but then I decided not to do that, and I was like, "Let me look again because I saw him go in there, and then I saw that, and I was like, okay, but see that icon? I have seen that icon over here, but I guess there's too many on there." You know, you've got the global and, and everything. And see, there it is up there. On the upper right-hand corner, you see it up there too. But I remember seeing that on the outside. But maybe, maybe I don't know. Anyway, we got that uh, pre-fight on. And to be honest with you, uh, I'm not used to fighting with that pre-fight anyway. So you can see here I'm doing like medium, light, medium. Parry, heavy, medium, light, medium. <laughs> Evade the special. I'm not doing full five hit combos, um, which I believe I could have done, and I start doing later on. You know, but uh, with or without it, you know, I'm doing this fight. That right there, I was trying to do a heavy attack, and it didn't register. And then I pushed it to a special two, and I was like, no, don't be unblockable. Okay, good. And I evaded some of it, you know, but oh, I was just like, okay. And there we go with that special two. Bam. And when I saw that it didn't hurt that much, I was like, okay, we good. All right. And just going in, still doing the medium light, medium, heavy. And I'm like, yeah, buddy. We got her. E. Doom. Ta, ta, ta. Boom. I did a five hit combo there. And that glancing is so annoying. And there we go. Got her down. So, for the last war of the season, I did good. No deaths. And this war was close. And we're locked into Platinum 2 regardless of whether we win or lose this one. I didn't touch that man god. All right. We'll be back in a minute. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and last war of the season and we got a big fat L. Um I think at the end uh it was just a free for all on the boss. We were just like okay, we already lost this one. Let's just go. Uh I think everybody is is ready. We're locked into platinum 2 and I think people weren't really uh, into fighting this war hard. Uh, as you saw, I fought where I normally fight, and we're going to have a very big break. It's going to be a month and a half before we are in the next season. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Kabam made an announcement on the forums. Uh, they're going to be implementing their new set and forget, uh, if you remember that feature where you're not going to have to um, set your defense every single time and your defenders are not locked, so you can use them even while war is going on. 
That is really nice. Um, but that's a major change. So they're going to be putting that change in. So we're going to have off season. Then they're going to take down the um, Alliance War mode for like two weeks. Then we're going to get another off season. And then finally, it'll start the season. So we get an off season. They take it down, implement this. Then we get another off season with the new mode so that we can get used to it. And then the season starts. And the season won't start until uh, July 26, I believe. All right. So anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Last war of the season. Take care. We'll see you again in a month and a half. <laughs> all right. Have fun. And you all have a blessed day.